So this video aims to look at why automatic transmission fluid and coolant mix together. When this happens, this is a big problem for the transmission because coolant can damage the components inside the transmission and you will need a, either a new transmission or have it rebuilt, so that's not good news. If you catch the problem early, it's maybe even the case of just getting a new radiator or a second-hand one and switching it out. So in this video, we're going to have a look at that. With my 2007 Saturn view here, we have a slight leak. So this is the radiator from uh, the Saturn view here. Here we have the transmission inlet and outlet lines right here, which is part of the radiator, and also the coolant lines, top and bottom. What happens here is something can fail inside the radiator, causing these two fluids to mix. When this happens, it's a really big problem for our car. If this has been going on too long, you'll notice your automatic transmission fluid will be the consistency of a strawberry milkshake, really pink, um, in which case it might be too far gone to save the transmission. If we catch it early enough, it might just be the case of replacing the radiator and hopefully our problem will go away. When we replace the radiator, we will need to flush the entire transmission fluid from the car, all of the coolant and refill those back in. If you're unsure whether you have a minor leak in the radiator or something causing these fluids to mix, there are a couple of steps we can take. First is to smell the coolant overflow, just to make sure it smells like coolant. You can compare the smell against a new bottle, just to make sure um, they smell exactly the same. If you have transmission fluid in here, it'll have sort of a sweet smell to it. You can smell your transmission fluid just to get a gauge on what this smells like. So that's one thing. Another step is when you have the uh, vents on, you might get a whiff of transmission fluid. That's because it's in the coolant, and when you put your heater on, right here, uh, the coolant goes through the heater core, and you can kind of smell that transmission fluid. It might only be a faint whiff, but it's sort of there. And a third thing you can do is get something called an accuse strip. You just dip that in your coolant and it tells you for the presence of transmission fluid. That should never be in there, so even the slightest scent of it in there will indicate a minor leak. And some symptoms with your transmission, you may get delayed shifts, hard shifts, it may be slipping, anything like that could indicate a problem with coolant in the transmission. It's a problem you need to catch early and correct it before anything else happens. Don't go on any more drives until this is done. So as we've indicated, the transmission cooler lines run through the radiator. When the engine is off, the transmission oil pressure drops to zero and then water can enter the transmission. When the engine is running, the trans pressure is higher than the cooling system. Well, uh, it, the transmission will prompt... So as you can see in this radiator, the transmission lines and also the coolant run through it. And when they mix, the problem is um, when the engine is off and the transmission oil pressure drops to zero, the water can then enter the transmission. This is sort of how it happens. If you know you have a mix problem, I have a couple of videos on my channel where we replace a whole radiator in a Saturn view. Again, applies to many other vehicles. And also the process of flushing the coolant completely and also flushing the transmission fluid. So I recommend you check those two videos out and I hope it's not a new transmission for you. And I've linked both videos in the description below.